What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and today we have Terry Glenn through the years who recently passed away in a car accident in Texas this past Monday. Now we're gonna kick things off with his college numbers. His last year at Columbus for the Buckeyes, he caught 64 passes for 1,411 yards, averaging 22 yards per catch and 17 TDs. That was by far his best season's first Previous two seasons don't even come close to adding up to what he did his last year at Columbus. And of course, he was selected in round one, pick number seven by the New England Patriots. So we can kick things off his rookie season in Madden 97, where he's 84 with, not overall, but 84 agility because this is before they had overalls in Madden. 57 acceleration, 83 speed, 59 awareness, 56 catch, 38 carry, and 18 break tackle right there he burns the cincinnati Bengals deep now when we look at his real life numbers for his rookie season they're pretty impressive he was targeted 167 times that is a career high for my man in his rookie season he caught 90 passes for 1132 yards six tds and he averaged 75.5 yards per game Game day 97. Look at these graphics, though. Game day 97. He's 81 overall with 86 speed, and he has a 70 catch rating. Game day kept it short and simple. Overall speed and catch for your receiver. Now, his best game this season was versus the New York Giants the last week of the season. They won that game 23 to 22. He caught a grand total eight passes for 124 yards and one TD. So he was definitely, so I don't know if he won rookie of the year or not, but he was somebody that probably could have with these kind of numbers. And of course, they made it all the way to the Super Bowl that year where they took on the Green Bay Packers. And in Madden 98, he's 154 overall. The highest overall player is a receiver named Jerry Rice, who's 189 overall. He also comes in with 85 agility, 91 speed, 69 awareness, 62 catch, 37 carry, 18 break tackle yet again. Now, in that Super Bowl versus the Packers his rookie season, he caught four passes for about 68 yards, I believe, and that actually is like his best postseason game ever. He really never did too much in the postseason, and he never got a postseason touchdown. I'm not saying that I care. I'm just giving you guys the facts. Now, anyways, for the 1997 NFL season, his numbers look like this. He played in just nine games after making it all the way to the Super Bowl. He was targeted 49 times, caught 27 passes for 431 yards, two TDs, and averaged 47.9 yards per game. Madden 99, he's 92 overall with 52 strength, 85 agility, 88 speed, 85 acceleration, 85 awareness, 91 catch, 82 carry, 87 break tackle. Once again, the number one receiver in the game was Jay Rice at 100 overall. Now, going back to last season, his best game was actually versus Green Bay in a Super Bowl rematch. He had seven catches for 163 yards. That 163 yards was a season high, and they lost that game 10 to 28. For his numbers for the 1998 season, which will be this season right here, he played in 10 games, was still targeted 98 times in just 10 games. He caught 50 passes for 792 yards, 3 TDs, 79.2 yards per uh, game. He also had his best game versus Pittsburgh, 9 catches, 193 yards, and 1 TD. And Madden 2000, he's 91 overall, 53 strength, 95 agility, 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 95 awareness, 94 catch, 79 carry, and a 64 break tackle rating. Now, when we look at his real-life numbers, they look like this. He played in 14 games, caught a grand total of 69 passes on 115 targets for 1,000 147 yards, 4 TDs, and averaged a career high 81.9 yards per game. His best game was versus the Cleveland Browns. They won that game 19 to 7. He caught 13 passes for 214 yards plus a TD, and those 214 yards receiving is a career high. Next gym back then on the PS2. My man looked clean with that dark visor, man. 91 overall, 93 speed, 56 strength, 81 awareness, 95 agility, 94 acceleration, 90 catch, 80 carry, and an 81 jump rating with a break tackle rating of 
eight, 55, I'd say 85, but 55. When we look at his real life numbers, he played in 16 games. He caught a grand total of 79 passes on 163 targets for 923 yards, six TDs, and averaged 60.2 yards per game. Best game was versus Cincy. They won that game 16 to 13. He caught 11 passes for 129 yards. Madden 2002. Terry Glenn still looking clean. This time he has a clean visor, a clear visor on. But he's 85 overall nonetheless. 90 speed, 55 strength, 85 awareness, 87 agility, 96 acceleration, 87 catch, 77 carry, 82 jump, and a 54 break tackle rating. When it comes to his real life numbers, he played in just four games. In those four games, he was targeted 24 times for 14 receptions, 204 yards, one TD, and he averaged 50, 50 yards per 51 yards, excuse me, per game. His best game came in a game versus the Chargers in the New England Patriots. Won that game 29 to 26, seven receptions, 110 yards. One TD, and that was the only TD that he caught by Tom Brady in the course of regular season game. He might have got one in preseason, for all I know, but regular season, and that is the only one. And, of course, they did win the Super Bowl this season, and he does have a ring for being on the team. Even though he did not play in that game, he only played in a grand total of four games. So, of course, in 2K2, he's 87 overall. Madden 2003, guy, I love the presentation. He is 79 overall with 87 speed, 51 strength, 74 awareness, 85 agility, 87 acceleration, 88 catch, 73 carry, 88 jump, and then a 58 break tackle rating. Pretty solid numbers, even though he's only 79 overall. Pretty solid numbers for a receiver. Now, let's look at his real-life numbers where he played in 15 games for the cheese heads. He was targeted 106 times by Brett Favre, caught 56 of those passes for 817 yards, two TDs, and he also averaged 54.5 yards per game. His best game as a Packer for his only year as a Packer came in their biggest rivalry, the Chicago Bears, where he... Uh, where they won the game 34 to 21 he had eight receptions for 154 yards that was the only time that he went over 100 yards that year and nfl 2k3 he's 84 overall 91 speed 90 agility 52 strength 96 vision 90 intelligence 82 89 route running 41 break tackle and an 82 catch rating as he beats up on the Detroit Lions. But now it's time to move on to Madden 2004, where he is a member of the Dallas Cowboys. They haven't won 81, but he actually wore 83 for the Dallas Cowboys. Now he's 79 overall in the Madden 04, 89 speed, 45 strength, 70 awareness, 84 agility, 88 acceleration, 87 catch, 50 carry, 85 jump, and a 55 break tackle rate. Now this is the second time in his career that he played all 16 games. He was targeted 90, 96 times, caught 52 passes with 754 yards, got five TDs. He also averaged 47.1 yards per game. His best game with the Cowboys that year was a 38-7 win versus the Detroit Lions, where he got six receptions for 75 yards and a career high for a game, three TDs. In ESPN Football, aka 2K4, he is 82 overall, 83 catch, 79 route running, 91 speed, 90 agility, 39 strength, 90 jump, and a 70 break tackle. It's always funny to me how 2K like sometimes somehow almost always gets the numbers right, but Madden sometimes like does it. I don't know why they just do. But Madden 05, he comes in at 84 overall, 90, 91 speed. 48 strength, 80 awareness, 88 agility, 89 acceleration, 89 catch, 50 carry, and he also has an 85 jump rating as well. Let's look at his real life numbers where he played in just six games for the Dallas Cowboys. He was still targeted 38 times. He caught 24 passes for 400 yards and two TDs. Best game was versus Pittsburgh. They lost that game, however, but it was a 20 to 24 game, so it was pretty close. He caught seven passes for 140 yards. ESPN NFL 2K5, Terry Glenn is 85 overall, 85 catch, 82 route running, 91 speed, 90 agility, 39 strength, 90 jump, 70 break tackle. And of course, 2K with the route running, took Madden with Madden 08 to get route running. They had that in since like Madden or 2K3. But anyways, we are going to move on to Madden 2006. First on the PS2, and then we're going to jump to the 360, where Terry Glenn comes in at 83 overall, 92 speed, 
48 strength, 82 awareness, 88 agility, 89 acceleration, 87 catch, 85 jump, and a 45 break tackle rate. So Terry Glenn was targeted a grand total of 119 times in 16 games. He caught 62 passes for 1,136 yards, 7 TDs, which is a career high. He also averaged 71 yards per game. Not only did he do all that, but he also averaged 18.3 yards per catch, which was a career high for him and also was the number one in the NFL. So he led the league in yards per catch for the 2005 season. Now for Madden 06 on the 360, his attributes are still the same as they were on the PS2. 83 overall, 92 speed, 48 strength, 82 awareness, 88 agility, 89 acceleration, 87 catch, 85 jump and a 45 break tackle. Sometimes the, the attributes and the overalls do change from Madden 06 on the PS2 to Madden 06 on the 360 with the later date. Anyways, Madden 07, he's 87 overall, 93 speed, 90 agility, 92 acceleration, 87 awareness, 85 elusiveness, 85 spin move, 85 juke move, 90 catch. Let's back up just a year for his 2005 campaign. His best game was versus the Philadelphia Eagles. They won that game 38 to 10, seven receptions, 118 yards, and two TDs for my man Terry Glenn. Glenn. For the 06 season, he caught a grand total of 70 passes in the 15 games on 111 targets for 1,047 yards, 6 TDs, and averaged 69.8 yards per game. He had a big game versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which I think was his best game. They won that game 38-10. to He had four receptions for 89 yards and two TDs. Now, Madden 08, he's 88 overall, 93 speed, 92 agility, 94 acceleration, 85 juke, 94 catch, 87 route running, 80 catch in traffic, and an 81 spectacular catch. Now, as far as the numbers are concerned, it says that he was targeted one time and played in just one game so i guess we could say that this was his last official year in the nfl but he is in madden 2009 and he's not a free agent he is actually on the cowboys 86 overall 92 speed 93 agility 93 acceleration 85 juke move 84 catch 85 route running 78 catch in traffic and a 70 spectacular catch rating and like i said the year before was really his last official year he might have been in the nfl but he did not register a stat but he was was one of the better receivers in the 90s in my opinion and he played for the Cowboys longer than T.O. did which I thought was a little bit funny. Now anyways when we add up all of his overalls including that 154 overall back in Madden 98 he is a 88.9 overall Madden player throughout his career. He will be missed uh, when people die unexpectedly it's definitely a tragedy no matter how old or how young they are so the fact that he has left this earth at just 43 years young to me is just something that happens way too often in this world but that's going to wrap this up if you have a suggestion for another through the years let me know down in the comment section below until next time i hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day peace awesome.